In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to connect a mouse to your Chromebook so that you can control your Chromebook with a mouse instead of using the trackpad. And there's basically three different types of mouse you might have. There's a wired mouse that has a cable connected to it and you need to plug it directly into the Chromebook. Or there's a wireless mouse with a dongle where you plug the dongle into the Chromebook and then the mouse will wirelessly connect to the dongle. Or there's a Bluetooth mouse, which is a wireless mouse without a dongle, where the mouse connects directly to the Chromebook using Bluetooth. To me, we'll go through the different types one by one, but starting off with the most basic, we have a wired mouse where there is a cable attached to it. And all you really need to do here is plug the other end of the cable into the Chromebook. But this isn't always as easy as it sounds. Your mouse will almost definitely have a USB-A connector on the end of it, which needs to plug into a regular USB port. So some Chromebooks will have a regular USB port. So if your Chromebook does, you can just go ahead and plug it straight in. But some Chromebooks will only have USB-C ports. And if your Chromebook only has USB-C ports, you'll need to buy a USB-C to USB-A adapter so that you can plug the mouse into the adapter and then plug the adapter into one of the USB-C ports on your Chromebook. It doesn't have to be this exact adapter. This is just an example. Any adapter will work just fine, just as long as it has male USB-C on one end and female USB-A on the other. But now, regardless of whether or not you need an adapter, once you've plugged the mouse into your Chromebook, you should pretty much be good to go straight away. Now that your mouse is plugged in, you should be able to move it around the screen and click on things and click around and do whatever you want on your Chromebook, controlling it with the mouse. Because once it's plugged in, the mouse will be connected and working with your Chromebook. There are a few extra mouse settings you can adjust if you want to, but Timmy goes through all that in a different video. Next up, is a wireless mouse with a dongle. This is probably the most common type of wireless mouse. Connecting a wireless mouse with a dongle is actually quite similar to connecting a wired mouse. The first thing you'll need to do is plug the dongle into your Chromebook. And just like with a wired mouse, the dongle will almost definitely have a USB-A connector that needs to plug into a regular USB-A port. Some Chromebooks will have a regular USB-A port so if your Chromebook does, you can just go ahead and plug it straight in. But some Chromebooks will only have USB-C ports. And if your Chromebook only has USB-C ports, you'll need to buy a USB-C to USB-A adapter so that you can plug the dongle into the adapter and then plug the adapter into the Chromebook. It doesn't have to be this exact adapter. This is just an example. Any adapter will work just fine just as long as it has a male USB-C connector on one end and female USB-A on the other. But then, once you get the dongle connected to your Chromebook in any way you can do that, whether that's with an adapter or not, you're pretty much good to go. But there are a few things you might need to do on the mouse. You need to make sure the mouse is turned on and has power. So if you turn the mouse upside down, there will often be an on off switch that you can turn off so that the mouse will be off and not wasting battery. So obviously for the mouse to work, you'll need to make sure you turn this switch on to turn the mouse on. And you'll also want to check the mouse has power because when you use a wired mouse and you plug it into the Chromebook, the mouse can take any power it needs from the Chromebook. But with a wireless mouse, the mouse needs its own power source. So Often that'll be a replaceable AA battery that you might need to replace every year or two years or something. Or you might need to plug the mouse in and recharge a built-in rechargeable battery every so often. The battery will probably have at least some power in it. So you can probably just turn the mouse on and try it out and see if it's working. And then you might not need to replace the battery or put a battery in or charge it or anything. But if you turn it on and you've plugged the dongle into your Chromebook and it's not working with your Chromebook and there's no lights or anything lit up on the mouse, 
then you probably need to either recharge it or replace the battery. But once you've done all that and you've got your mouse turned on and powered up and the dongle is connected to your Chromebook, you should be good to go. So now you can move the mouse around on the screen using the mouse and you can click on things and click around and do whatever you want using your mouse. You've now connected your mouse to the Chromebook. There are a few extra mouse settings that you could adjust if you wanted to, to get it exactly how you want it, but Timmy goes through all of that in a different video. And last but not least, we have Bluetooth mice. These can be really nice because you don't need to plug a dongle into your Chromebook or anything, but they are slightly harder to set up the first time you use them. And unfortunately, each mouse is going to be slightly different in how you set it up. The first thing you need to do is make sure the mouse is charged and turned on and get it into pairing mode. A wired mouse would normally take power directly from the Chromebook, but because this mouse is wireless, it will either have a built-in rechargeable battery and you'll need to plug it in to recharge every so often, or it will have a replaceable AA battery that you'll probably need to replace every year or two. So hopefully the battery will still have some power in it. So you'll be able to just turn it on and start using it. But if you try turning it on and it doesn't seem to light up and nothing seems to be working, you might need to either replace the battery or plug it into a charger for a while. Then you need to turn the mouse on. This is usually done with a switch on the bottom of the mouse. Every mouse will have a slightly different looking switch, but it put, should be pretty straightforward. There'll only be one switch and it should say on or off or this one's red or green, but it should be pretty clear. And then once you turn the mouse on, you'll need to get the mouse into Bluetooth pairing mode so that your Chromebook can see the mouse as an available Bluetooth device to connect to. And this is where it gets a bit different for each specific mouse. If you just bought your mouse, hopefully you have an instruction manual that will tell you how to put your mouse into pairing mode. And then you'll be able to look at that and find instructions for putting it into pairing mode or Bluetooth pairing mode or something. And it should tell you what you need to do on your specific mouse. But if you don't have any instructions, it's usually fairly easy to figure out. Some mice will automatically go into pairing mode when they're simply switched on and not connected to any other device. But on other mice, you might need to press a button or hold a button until a light starts flashing or something. But hopefully you'll be able to figure out uh, how to get your mouse into pairing mode on your specific mouse. And if the mouse used to be paired with a different computer, and that computer is still in the room with you right here, you'll probably want to make sure that computer is turned off or at least turn Bluetooth off on that computer. Otherwise, the mouse might try to automatically pair with that computer before you can pair it with your Chromebook. But once your mouse is charged up and turned on and in pairing mode, you're finally ready to go on your Chromebook here and click on the time in the bottom right hand corner down here to bring up this menu. And now in this menu that appears, you'll need to click on Bluetooth here. It might be in a slightly different position on your Chromebook, but there will be a Bluetooth option somewhere. So you'll just click on that there. And you might have Bluetooth turned off right now, but if you do, you'll just need to click on this switch to turn it on. And now down here, you'll see a list of all the Bluetooth devices your Chromebook has previously connected to. But assuming your Chromebook has not connected to this mouse before, it will not show up here. You'll need to click pair a new device. And now your Chromebook will bring up a list of all the available Bluetooth devices that are currently in pairing mode. And Hopefully, assuming your mouse is in pairing mode, you should see it here. If you don't, you might need to make sure it's still in pairing mode. Sometimes it might go out of pairing mode quite quickly. So you might need to put it into pairing mode again right now, or you might need to make sure it's charged up or has a new battery or something. But hopefully it'll pop up here and then you'll just click on it here and it'll say pairing. And now your mouse should be connected. So now, you can move your mouse around and 
the mouse will be controlling your cursor on the screen. So now you can click around and open Chrome and go to a website and scroll around and do whatever you want using your mouse on your Chromebook. Your Bluetooth mouse is now connected and working with your Chromebook. And now that you've paired your mouse with your Chromebook for the first time, Whenever your mouse and Chromebook are both turned on and within at least about 30 feet of each other, they should automatically connect to each other in the future. So you shouldn't have to do this pairing process again. This is just for the first time. But now, regardless of what type of mouse you have, it should be connected to your Chromebook and working. So you're all done. But if you want to, there are a few extra mouse settings you can adjust to customize how your mouse works. If you're happy with the way your mouse is working right now and you just move it around and click and everything's pretty fine, you don't really need to do this. But if you want to adjust things like the mouse speed or the scroll speed or the scroll direction or customize buttons on your mouse and other things like that, Timmy has another video about that that walks you through all of that right here. So. If you want to learn more about that, you can go ahead and click this video here and go and watch that video. But if you don't want to watch that video, you can just go ahead and use your mouse like normal.